Thank you, President Officer. Um, we certainly have had uh, an interesting discussion and debate today, and it is a pity it's against the backdrop of the settled status scheme, uh, because it is important that we do discuss uh, immigration and the importance of immigration to Scotland. I no noted that Professor Tompkins uh, intervened on George Adam and, and talked about what a, a minister was talking about, a fairer immigration system. But the reality is that Brexit and the whole Brexit campaign, much of it was dominated on ending free movement, as if free movement was a really bad thing for the country. And as politicians, we need to be able to take that on board, because I think most of us in here would acknowledge at some point when we've been on the doorsteps that the issue of immigration and the perception that, that immigration is a bad thing has come up and, and does come up on the doors. And very often we fail to actually take that argument on board. We also fail to acknowledge that a shortage of housing, uh, a failure to get access to the NHS, a failure to get access to, to good education. It's easy, if you like, to blame the immigrants. And that is often what happens, and that's why, as politicians, we need to have these discussions and, and, and the positive aspects of immigration that come out today. Stuart McMillan. Thank uh, Alex Riley for taking intervention. Uh, can I suggest to all colleagues in the Chamber that the, the report that was published, as I spoke about earlier, the report that was published by the Equal Opportunities Committee in this Parliament in 2010 is a very good starter to actually get those arguments over to the wider population. Alex Rowley. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. And, um, but it is, it is important. I do believe that if politicians at a UK level uh, in particular, but at every level, had not ducked these questions, we perhaps would not have Brexit today. And that's why it's important that, that we do have the discussion. I was also reminded, um, somebody mentioned the, the, um, the UK Parliament Scottish Affairs Committee. And I was reminded that when they were taking evidence uh, on, on, on the report that they did, there was somebody from an employment agency uh, in, in Eastern Europe uh, giving evidence. And, and he said that, that many people, when they come in, there's two things that they don't want. They don't want to pick fruit and they don't want to come to Scotland. And, you know, that, that, that in itself is an issue. And, and I make that reference because... I would acknowledge, and I think the Minister would acknowledge, that there are specific challenges and issues for Scotland when it comes to encouraging people to come here and make their home here. And that's why certainly the Labour Party in Scotland is open to having further discussions with all parties because we have to recognise that moving forward, we absolutely need more people to come here and to settle here. And that's why, that's why, as many people have said, we're in this crazy position that we're in where people are being discouraged. Uh, the, the VMA highlighting a, a, a lot of medical professionals who may not want to stay here, and that would be a real disaster uh, for us. Lewis MacDonald also highlighted the uncertainty uh, that, that the impact that uncertainty has on people's lives and, and the issues around mental health with many people being depressed. And you can understand that because most people I speak to are actually depressed about Brexit and want to see us get a solution to that. But that solution can't be a worse deal than Mrs May's deal, which I do believe Boris Johnson offers us. And the best way forward is, is to go back to the people and ask them, is this really what they wanted at the end of the day? Uh, Joan McAlpine says that the, the scheme is fundamentally flawed, and many others say that, but it's difficult for me to see where Donald Cameron and the, the Tory benches are coming from, because it's, I'm not asking you to listen to what I say, or Joan McAlpine, or, or anybody else for that matter. Look at all the briefs that have come in, for people on the front line, for NHS, uh, for the third sector. All those briefs are saying that the scheme as it currently stands is fundamentally flawed. 
and that we need to take action. Hence my question earlier to the Minister about putting more resources in, welcoming the resources that have been put in, but we do need more resources. So I cannot, for the life of me, understand why the Tory benches can come along here today and say, as Alexander Stewart put it, this uh, grieving politics, put it on the back benches. It's not grieving politics. It is listening to all those organisations out there. It's seeing what the real threat is to our NHS and to so many other areas. If many of those people who have chosen to stay in Scotland end up choosing to leave Scotland, we will be in deep trouble. So it's not, as Alexander Stewart puts it, about grieving politics. It's the facts. And you have to, as Professor Tompkins often says, follow the evidence. Well, the evidence is that we have a real problem with the scheme. And as a result of that, presiding officer, we need to think again. I would urge the Tories to join with every other party in here, follow the evidence, and let's get this scheme changed so that people are not having to go through what they're going through right now. Thank you.